Hello everyone. We'll be talking about mirror formula today. But a little recap of what you've done in spherical mirrors. As you already have been told that the, there are something called spherical mirrors. That is the mirrors which are not straight but a part of a sphere. There are two types of spherical mirrors. Concave mirror and convex mirror. They behave differently, they have they can they are used differently. So two types we have. So these two types of mirrors show different kind of image. Now we also at the same time need to understand that the image which is formed by these mirrors is placed at different positions. Then how do I calculate the distance? I, I know the image is forming close to the mirror, away from the mirror, but how far? So, in order to understand that, we require something called a mirror formula. But before we actually understand and apply mirror formula, let's understand the process. So, the process is first to know the sign convention. What is the meaning of sign convention? Just wait, I'll explain it. This sign convention is applicable for both convex as well as concave mirror. So this is supposing I draw a concave mirror and this is a straight line or the principal axis passing through the center of the mirror. The point where the two coincide that you know is called the pole of the mirror. So for any mirror, whether it is concave or convex, the pole is considered to be the zero of the number line, number line that you've done in maths. You know very well that from the zero, if we go to the right, the distances are all positive. If we go to the left, the distances are all negative. All z negative uh, numbers are on the left of the number line. So that's what we are following. Upwards, positive. Downwards, negative. That means, what is the meaning of, of this positive or negative? By rule, by convention, we are placing objects on the left side. So that means, I am going to be measuring the location of the object from the pole to the left and this will be taken as negative. You are placing the object above the principal axis. So the height of the object will be taken as positive. Alright. So sign convention is a standard kind of notation which we have to apply. In order to solve a numericals correctly, every time you solve a numerical, solve a question, the answer which you get gives complete information as you will understand very soon. There are three distances that we come across or use that is called object distance which is denoted by U. And please remember that we are using symbols in small, small cap not the capital letters. Okay. V is another symbol that we use alphabet for measuring the image distance. And sometimes when children write, U and V almost look the same. So avoid that, write neatly. Small f stands for the focal length. So using these three variables as they are called, U, V and F, we form the mirror formula which is essentially a relationship between U, V and F and this is what helps us in finding any one of these three knowing the other two. So you could be finding V given U and F, you could be finding U given V and F and the third one accordingly. Besides these variables, we also have another expression which is called M which means magnification. It is the relation between the object height and the image height. So magnification as an expression is written as HI by HO. In terms of the heights of the two image and object, it can also be stated as minus V by U in terms of image and object distance. So we can use both depending on what data has been provided to us. In order to make things convenient, I have prepared a sign convention table 
which is just as a ready reckoner, very simple to understand, and it's all the information there in one place. So uh, we have two types of mirror, concave and convex. A concave mirror forms a real as well as a virtual image. Convex only forms a virtual image, no other type of image. Now, the table it has U, V, that is object distance, image distance, focal length, height of the object, height of the image and magnification. If the image formed is real, this is the nature of the image that I am talking about. Whether it is real or virtual, object distance is always negative because by rule we are placing the object on the left side. For a real image, the image also will be formed on the left side. So image distance negative. But when the image formed is virtual, it is formed on the right side, behind the mirror as we call. So it is positive. Focal length for a concave mirror, negative because it is a converging mirror. But for a convex mirror, it is positive because it is a diverging mirror and rays appear to meet on the right side. Height of the object always positive. We are placing the object above principal axis. Height of the image negative when the image is real. Positive when the image is virtual. Magnification negative for a real image, positive for the virtual image. Besides this, some more information regarding magnification that if the magnification is greater than 1 then we say that the image is magnified if it is less than 1 image is diminished if it is equal to 1 the image and object size are the same so this is your kind of groundwork preliminary work before we move on to questions for understanding the solving of questions i will be showing you explaining to you two questions two examples which are of NCRT and then following that is two in-text questions. So, since they are very easy to solve, let us just look at the variables what are being provided. First is an object 4 cm in height in size is placed at 25 cm in front of a concave mirror. Remember, these are the values or the data given to you. Concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. At what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed in order to obtain a sharp image? Find the nature and size of the image. First of all, identify what is being provided and write it as a proper tabular form like here given, under given you write down what all you have. The first line says the height of the object as 4 cm. Object distance minus 25 centimeter, focal length minus 15. Remember, it's a concave mirror that we are talking about. Example number 10.2 from the NCRT book. So you will apply the sign convention of a concave mirror only. What is it that you have to find out? The image distance, height of the image and the nature of the image. Just write down the mirror formula. That is the first step that you have to take. After that, since I need to find out V, transpose this one by U on the right side and put the values. Remember, again I am reminding you with a sign convention following the sign. Move the negative sign to the numerator like what I have done over here. And this minus and minus becomes positive. So, 1 by 25. With this, you can calculate and uh, cross multiply, take the LCM, it becomes minus 25 plus 15, which is minus 10 upon 375. So, V is equal to minus 37.5 centimeter. After that, you have to also find out the height of the image. To do that, write down the formula, M is equal to HI by HO. Since I do not have the value of M, so I have to use this expression as minus V by U. Using this, I can see that HI is equal to minus V by U into HO. So, when you put the values, it is your choice. You either want to put it in the decimal form or you put it in the expression, rational figure form. It is okay. It is your choice. Whatever makes it convenient for you to solve. Now, when you multiply the two, 
it becomes so minus 150 upon 25 which is equal to minus 6 centimeter so so clearly it shows that the height of the image is negative and it is more more than the height of the object so nature of the image is real and inverted you can also add magnified but the negative sign shows that the image is real and inverted Similar to this, we have another ex example that is 10.1 of a convex mirror. It says that the a convex mirror used for rear view on an automobile has a radius of curvature 3 meter. If a bus is located at 5 meter from this mirror, find the position, nature and size. Now, this is a bit tricky over here because you can see that object height is not mentioned anywhere. So, we can obviously not find out the size of the image. We can find out that as a ratio so that's exactly what we are going to do the relationship between radius of curvature and focal length is that focal length is half the radius of curvature so given that the radius of curvature is 3 meter focal length is 3 by 2 meters that is 1.5 my advice is do not convert it into decimal use it as it is you tend to make more error greater error when you convert things into decimal become difficult to handle for you so going by this then object distance as minus 5 meter what is it that you have to find out the position of the image nature and size the solution once again as I told you in the previous question write down the mirror formula 1 by V is equal to 1 by F minus 1 by U put the values focal length is positive for a convex mirror sign convention table use it and object distance negative but this minus this minus cancels and becomes positive when you solve it it is 1 by v is equal to 10 plus 3 by 15 by lcm and cross multiplication so 1 by v is equal to 13 by 15 or v is equal to 15 by 13 which is nearly 1.15 meter this sign means nearly no need to get confused uh, you can see that the image distance is positive therefore the image is virtual and erect image distance positive height of the image positive all these indicate a virtual image now coming to the size for that we will just work with magnification i can use it in two ways i can use the value of v as the fraction or use it as 1.15 i am giving you both the options answer is the same but you can see, you may observe that it becomes a little easier when you use it as a fraction. So, I am putting the value minus V15 by 13 into U minus 1 upon minus 5. This comes out to be 3 by 13 which is 0 0.23. So, you can see that the M is less than 1. Put using with a decimal value minus 1.15 by minus 5 which is 0 0.23 again so in both the cases the answer remains the same following example 10.2 we have two in text questions the first one find the focal length of a convex mirror whose radius of curvature is 32 centimeter so just now i told you the relation between focal length and radius of curvature f is r by 2 putting the value of r is 32 focal length is 16 it's a convex mirror and focal length is positive so that would be your answer for question number two a concave mirror produces three times magnified real image magnified means enlarged of an object placed at 10 centimeter in front of it where is the image located when i say three times magnified that means i'm talking about a real image which is three times bigger than the object so, you have to take M as minus 3. Remember, real image, M negative. Object distance, minus 10 as per the sign convention again. And you have to find out V. M is equal to minus V by U. Put the values. When you put the values, the value of V turns out to be minus 30 centimeter. So, this is what is the location of the image. 
Thank you. In the next class, in the next lecture, I will be giving you solving more questions from the NCRT exercise and will add on to your practice. So, all the questions related to mirror formula will then be complete.